Hi everyone, Lee again here. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my new channel yet, which is Lee Fox, please do. The link's in the description. I'll be making videos on there mainly from uh, from now on. Um, and in this video, I want to talk about following your highest joy. And when you follow your highest joy, everything is revealed to you that's within that joy, and you don't even have to try; it just comes automatically. Uh, but the problem with this is most people, most of their life, due to the ego, due to conditioning, etc., don't follow the highest joy. They follow what they think is going to bring them joy, but in fact it's not the highest joy, because the highest joys have been suppressed since they're a child, since they're at school, etc. So eventually you'll come out of the stage, okay, because you'll get that much calmer for what you're trying to do, okay. Uh, it's like that Linkin Park song, um, I've tried so hard. I've come so far but in the end it doesn't really matter you see because that's about losing the ego because you'll realize in the end it doesn't matter all that trying just leads to, 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 to bad karma because what you're trying to do you're trying to fit in with society you're trying to do what other people have told you to do you're trying to do what you think's going to be good for you due to fear because all the all the ego is is fear um, but eventually you'll come out of that because you'll get that much karma and you'll just think you know what screw it I'm just gonna do what I want to do and that's when you start to find passion in life. And some people refer this as to midlife crisis, by the way. But uh, I don't think it's midlife life crisis as such. I don't think it's something so everybody reaches when they reach the age of 40, 45. I think it's um, it's actually a big part of the awakening which everyone will eventually reach, whether the 45, whether the 65. Some people might even reach it at 25, uh, which is unlikely, but some people might, okay? It just depends on all your life. Uh, experiences and all the bad things you go through in order to learn and, and how to learn how to come out of the karmic cycle due to the ego uh, but once you do reach this stage where, where, where you're following your highest joy okay um, it's not so much following your highest joy and taking the action to do it it's just following that joy knowing in your mind that you're now doing that joy and going out each day and um, feeling that joyful state okay without trying too much just feeling that joyful state and when you do that, um, that's when everything's revealed to you to bring that joy to you. Okay, like, whenever you're feeling your highest joy, the universe adapts to that, okay? The, your physical surroundings adapt to that because they're a reflection of your internal state. It's always a reflection of your internal state, okay? No matter what, we've all had amazing times because we've been in a good mood and everything around us has become amazing, okay? And we've always had, we've, we've all had, um, really bad times because we've been in a bad mood and everything starts going wrong you see because this is why the 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 external always reflects the internal state okay it's all about the belief in the internal that, that creates the external so so we, we've established now that the reality everything we see around us all the physical matter even other people uh, are a reflection of self okay so they're just an illusion based on what we feel and think because we are God we are the one who decides what reality we want to experience you see so so it's 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 more of a state of just like kind of being in that state okay it's not trying anymore when you're following your highest joy okay you don't need to try because there's nothing to try for because you're already in a state of joy you see this is the paradox of it so so when you're in that state of joy um and you just then just stay in that state of joy okay this is what um the the highest level of buddhism does the buddhists do the, the very highest level buddhists and this isn't going praying in the mountains this is actually imagining something joyful in your mind feeling that state of that imagination and feeling that joy holding it okay that's why they meditate so they can hold it and when they hold that state of joy and then release the image of it and just be in that state of joy and that feeling and go out and do everyday things that's when everything starts to come to you automatically you don't even have to try so say you're you're you think oh i'd like to say go out for a massage one day or i'd love to do, do a specific thing okay you don't need to go out and look for it you don't need to go out and actually say right i'm going to go out today and i'm going to look for this specific thing all you need to do is get in that state of joy and when you do that um forget about that thing because that thing is going to just show up to you right in front of your face out of nowhere and you'll be like oh my god you see because it, it's all orchestrated based on that internal state um so 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 think about that guys try that try try going out and just being in a state of joy 
uh, try focusing on what you really like, not what society tells you to like, okay? Because a lot of people are just following what society tells them, okay? The, the, a song will come out and it'll be played on every radio station, every TV channel, and the people who are not awake yet still watch all these channels and think this is reality. So, so they're not in this state where they can do this, you see, because they're too busy being told by everything else what they need to do. So they're like a puppet in the matrix and they're not the creator of their own matrix. And once you get out this stage, um, then, then you can become a creator of your own matrix and then you can choose what you want to experience based on your real passions in life. And this goes even further than this, guys, because once this is realised fully, and maybe at some point in the positive future, if there is going to be one, um, this will be incorporated from day one. Okay, this will be incorporated from day one. And when all the kids go to school, they'll not be told what they need to learn they will choose what they want to learn based on their passions and when this happens we can get into an orchestration where everything just flows everything's everyone's doing the right thing there's no hatred there's no um jealousy there's none of this because everybody's doing what they love and um there's no corruption in it all like there is now you see so 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 this is a very important stage of the awakening guys follow your highest joy whatever you love doing just do it go out Feel that loving state, focus on positive things, focus on what you love doing, and then enjoy it, okay? Enjoy it just by being in that loving state and then everything will just come to you, okay? So, so think about that, guys. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Sorry I haven't made a video for a while, but I've been a little bit busy and I haven't had much um, things come up. I haven't had many downloads, because normally I'll just be walking down the street and something will say, make a video about this, and I'll just do it. And that's what's happened today. So, so the next time that happens, I'll make a new video, guys. Shouldn't be too long. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my new channel, Lee Fox. If you're already on this, this channel, that's great. If not, please do that now. And because uh, my future videos are going to become even better. And I'll see you guys there. Have a nice day.